The most embarrassing royal deaths in history, when kings met unfitting ends. Dive into history's most embarrassing royal deaths. From deadly dinners to mishaps with monkeys, discover how these kings met their undignified ends. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more intriguing historical tales. Welcome to Science Deli. Today, we are exploring the most undignified royal deaths in history. These stories prove that even kings are not immune to bizarre and embarrassing fates. Ever wondered how a king could die from eating too much dessert? Stick around to find out about King Adolf Frederick's fatal feast and other royal mishaps. Let us begin with King Adolf Frederick of Sweden. On Shrove Tuesday in 1771, he indulged in a massive meal of caviar, lobster, meats, and champagne. But it was the 14 servings of a Nordic pastry called Selma that did him in. He died of severe indigestion that night. Next, we have King Henry I of England, who could not resist his favorite dish, lampreys, against his doctor's advice. A large feast of these slippery eel-like fish led to his death by food poisoning. Sigurd the Mighty of Norway met a strange end after he tied his defeated enemy's head to his saddle. The head bounced and bit his leg, causing an infection that killed him. King Alexander of Greece was just 27 when he was attacked by a monkey while trying to protect his dog. The bites became infected, and he died within a month. King George II of Great Britain and Ireland had a rather undignified end. He died, while straining on his close stool, or toilet, on the morning of October 25, 1760. King William II of England was accidentally shot with an arrow while hunting. There were rumors of assassination, but hunting accidents were quite common at the time. King Charles VIII of France died in a hurry, literally. He hit his head on a wooden door frame while rushing to watch a game of tennis and succumbed to his injuries. Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI died after eating poisonous mushrooms during a visit to Vienna. Even the most powerful rulers are not safe from deadly fungi. King Charles II of Navarre met his end wrapped in brandy-soaked cloth as a bizarre treatment for an illness. A servant tried to burn off a loose thread, igniting the alcohol-soaked linen. He died from the burns. Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi of China sought immortality but died from consuming mercury, believing it would grant him eternal life. William Adelin, the son of King Henry I, faced a tragic and undignified end. After a night of heavy drinking, he attempted to sail back to England. The boat hit a rock and sank, leading to his untimely death. King James II of Scotland was fascinated with artillery. While celebrating during a siege, a cannon he fired backfired, killing him instantly. Sometimes, curiosity can indeed be fatal. King Bela I of Hungary was a warrior king, but his end came not from battle, but from his throne. The seat of power literally killed him when his throne collapsed, causing fatal injuries. The tale of Sigurd the Mighty is a stark reminder of how unpredictable life can be. Even after a victorious battle, his enemy's severed head managed to deliver a fatal bite. King Charles II of Navarre's death was truly a misadventure. Wrapped in brandy-soaked linen as a medical treatment, he caught fire when a servant tried to burn off a loose thread. This peculiar remedy turned deadly. The legend of Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi's quest for immortality serves as a cautionary tale. Consuming mercury in hopes of living forever, the first emperor of China met an ironic and tragic end. These stories highlight that no matter how powerful or divine one might seem, the end can be as unpredictable and undignified as anyone else's. It is a humbling reminder of our shared mortality. Which royal demise surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you loved this journey through history, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating tales from the past. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Science Deli.